The Lord God said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. Is this in your Bible? Yes. What did first, 2 Corinthians 1.20 say? It said, All the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen. Wow. All the promises in God are yes, and in him, amen. And then we went back here to Genesis chapter 6 and verse 3. And the Lord God said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for he also is flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. Is that a promise of God? Yes. Is anybody believing for it? Yes. Who? Okay, you. Well, now, okay. But most people are not believing for it. Most people don't believe God for anything, and that's why they never get there. That's right. Right? That's why, why don't a lot of people receive healing? Because they don't believe God for it. 120 years on the earth. Right? right? Have you ever heard anybody say out their mouth, my days will be 120 on the earth? You know, and if, if you did hear somebody, you know, the first reaction from most people would be, well, that's stupid. Who would want to live that long? And nobody's ever lived that long except maybe some old guy over in Japan or something, and they really didn't know how old he was. You got to do and believe what the Bible says, right? Especially if you're going to live what the Bible says. And I'm showing you a promise that your days shall be 120 on the earth. And I got news for you. It will never happen unless it first gets in your mouth. And then once it gets in your mouth, what's going to happen? It's going to start to renew your physical body. Your body's going to shape up and go, wait a minute, I've got another 65 years on this earth. It's going to start rewiring your cells. You're going to have youth renewal happening. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Are you here? Yes. I'll go to verse 1 again. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and what? Forget not. Forget not. But if you forget this benefit of him renewing your youth, then you can forget it. You got it? Okay. You forget this, then forget it. <laughs> if you forget that God's going to renew your youth and you don't put it in your mouth, then just forget it then he's not going to, and you're going to be just like the Israelites in the desert, you know, just waiting for the next storm or whatever to come along and sweep you away, and you'll be around 70 years old. Wow. But is that God's plan for you? No, it's not God's plan. It's not God's plan for you. It's not God's will for you. It's not God's promise for you. Are you here? Yes. What's God's will for you? 120 years on the earth, not 120 crappy years, That's not 120 true. sick poverty years, oh, wonderful, good years, strong years where your eyes aren't dim and your natural strength isn't abated. God. Right? God. And your youth is renewed. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> like I said, there's certain things you have to preach because if you don't preach it, nobody's going to get it. Nobody's going to believe for it. No faith is going to come. And these words I'm speaking, they're spirit and they're life. And we'll get into that in a little bit. How does your body get quickened? How do these things happen? It's a spiritual happening. It's a spiritual function that comes and quickens your physical body and things begin to change and your youth gets renewed. Amen. The Spirit of God told me this the other night. He said, none of this is going to happen without spending much time in the spirit. Psalms 91, verse 16. Long With what? Long life. Long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Well, this word salvation here, what is it just obviously talking about here in verse 16? Included in the salvation is what? Long life. Which to me, it makes it very obvious that you've got to have some prosperity you're not going to live as long in a cardboard box in the main winters, right? You will live much longer if you were riding in a nice automobile, living in, in a nice house, 
wearing nice clothes and eating good food you understand that then if you were living out in the desert or out in the wilderness with the wildebeests right you know this I mean you could take you know you take domesticated animals they live a lot longer when they're in an environment of a house you take a cat are you here you take a stray cat that lives out on the jetty somewhere he's got a short life ahead of him because it's hard and he might make it through the winter and he might not make it through the winter a couple years maybe give him a couple years and then they're all stringy and sinewy you don't even want to eat one but the cats that and they live in a house and they're all they're they're taken care of and they're you 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 brush them and you feed them right yeah. and they sleep on your bed how long do those things live a, long a lot longer than they should yeah. right but you've extended their life by what just by just by reason of the environment that they're in yeah. isn't that right so within this, a long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Just the matter of salvation, it must include prosperity. It must include health and healing. You can't live a long life if you're dying of cancer. Right? Oh, God's going to make you live to 120 with goiters all over your body. That's not salvation. That's not good. That's, that's, that's terrible. So with long life, he's going to show you his salvation. And part of his salvation is going to extend your life. Yes. Good life. Are you here? Yes. And we have a lot to do. I, might, I, I don't really want to go down this road as much as I probably could or should. I don't know. But we have a lot to do with whether our life gets extended or shortened by how close we walk with God. I really want to get over into the fact that we need to be in the spirit because that's what quickens us and makes us alive and renews our youth. So let's move on here. Are you going to make it to 120 prosperous and healthy and without doing anything? Without putting it in your mouth and without believing God for it. If you just if you take this message today and you don't do anything about it and you don't even confess it once a day, then forget about it. If you forget the benefit forget it just forget it right yes. so you're gonna to have to remind yourself you're gonna to have to actively say actively Act actively believe God for 120 years and youth renewal <laughs> so why am I saying this because your body is designed hey it's designed to live 120 years but we've been doing stuff to it that causes it to live a lot less and we haven't been getting it quickened in the way by the Holy Ghost we need to take it in for repairs and get it all cleaned up and let these things start to rewire you the way it needs to be every person's body is designed to live 120 years every person's body my body, my body is designed, is designed to, live to live 120, 120 years, years strong, strong healthy, healthy wealthy, wealthy on, the earth. on the earth but if you don't stay in the spirit and you don't take it in for its tune-ups and you don't do the things that it needs to have done to it then it's not going to live that long right and that's where most people are all right it is the spirit that quickens or makes alive the flesh profits nothing the words say the words the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life so you're going to have to have certain words are you here yes. certain words are going to have to quicken your physical body for it to make it 120 years but we've got people that aren't feeding it the right words and aren't having the right quickening of the spirit so their body is just petering out at a very early age 70s yeah. an early age yes, it it's only halfway there according to what the bible says 120 years are you here yes. it's the spirit that quickens and like i said or the holy ghost said to me not without spending much time this isn't going to happen without spending much time in the spirit now why would he say that because it's the spirit that quickens it's the spirit that renews your youth right 
Does this make sense? Yes. So the more time you spend in the Spirit, the more your youth is going to be renewed and the more life you are going to have, and it will be a long life. So is this a promise in your Bible? That you are to live 120 years on the earth. Are there other Trump promises in the Bible that people never get yes. a hold of? They never walk in. Yeah. They never have it. They never get it. They never have it. They never own it. Healing. Prosperity. Why? Because they don't believe for it. They don't hear it preached. Faith never comes. And they can't ever walk in it. Well, I got news for you now. What you just heard, and Jesus said, my words are spirit. My words are spirit and life, and it's the words that are in spirit and life that are going to quicken you. So you listen to a message like this, and we have online, we're offering a special offer this week on hemstrot.com. It's called, there's three CDs for youth renewal. You go there, and you sign up for it, and get them. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also, here's that word again, quicken your mortal body by his spirit that dwells in you. So the more that you can get in the spirit, the more your physical flesh, your mortal body will be quickened. Galatians 6 and verse 8, for he that sows to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that sows to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap, they have the Spirit reap, of the Spirit, of the Spirit reap life everlasting. So you have a choice. And the reason a lot of people aren't making it to their 120 goal is because they've been sowing to the flesh, the flesh, the flesh, and they're reaping what? corruption where in their flesh well if you sow to the spirit of the spirit you're going to reap that quickening that empowering that youth renewal that comes into your physical body and makes you younger father in jesus name we receive right now of the spirit of god and we commit to sow to the spirit and of the spirit reap life in our physical bodies. I thank you that this is a sign in a time for the last days of God's people being much younger uh, in, and looking much younger than they even are and their physical bodies acting and responding much younger than they actually are because you are quickening them. Holy Ghost, we give you thank you for it. We thank you in Jesus' name. And we, I pray for all these people hearing this out online. Let them be quickened by this message. Let the words of this message quicken their inner man and their physical body and renew their youth. In Jesus' name, amen.